Hey guys, this is Computer Techie. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D solar system picture using GIMP. So first what you want to do is open up GIMP. Okay, so uh, first you want to make sure you have this layers window. And if you don't have it, you want to go up here and click on Windows. Oh, whoops. Windows Dockable Dialogs and click on Layers. So there you have it and drag that right there. So now you want to click File, New, and you want to make sure that your dimensions are 640 by 400. Make sure that's pix pixels and click OK. Now we're going to fill it in with black, so you want to make sure this color is black up here, and you want to select your fill tool and fill it with black. Now we're going to um, add some stars, so you want to go up here and click Filters, Noise, and click Hurl. Now you, uh, you can change it however you want. Um, I'm going to take the randomization all the way down to 1. So that's our stars. And um, I'm going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add kind of a plasma effect. So you're going to click Layer, New Layer. And I'm going to name this one Plasma Cloud. And I'm going to click OK. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click on Filters render clouds and plasma you can change the turbulence to whatever you want I usually keep it at 1.0 like uh, the higher you drag it the more turbulence it has I like it like that so I'm just gonna click OK and it totally covers your stars so to uh, see both of them you want to go over here onto your layers window and drag down the opacity to about 16 uh, 16 or around that range um, now I'm gonna start adding some planets so I'm gonna click layer new layer I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna name this planet one okay now I'm gonna click on my ellipse select tool it looks like a circle and you can go ahead and draw yourself a circle whatever size you want to okay so to make it look like a planet you can go up to filters render and click on sphere designer okay now you can choose two different colors to um, to combine I'm gonna change this color to a blue and you can uh, select your blue blue by clicking onto the square and I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna change the texture to um, I'll change it to lizard you can change the turbulence by sliding this and you can change the scale by sliding this okay so I'm gonna click OK and now it's gonna look like that so um, once you've done that you wanna go ahead if you wanna make another planet you can click layer new layer and I'm going to name this planet 2. Now, this works the same way if you want to add a moon, just make the circle smaller. And I'm going to make another planet right there. Filters, render, and sphere designer. I'm going to change that color to a green. And I'll change this to a blue or a navy. Okay. Okay, that's good. So it should look like that. I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna make another planet right here. So uh, go ahead and click on layer, new layer, planet three. You can name your layers whatever you want. I'm just making it easier for myself. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry if this is kind of boring you out, guys. I'm um, I'm going to click that. So it looks kind of like an Earth, I think. Um, okay. Now, you want to go ahead and add your supernovas. 
So uh, you're gonna go up here and click on layer, new layer, and I'm gonna name this one Supernova. Click OK. Now you go up to filters, light and shadow, and click on Supernova. So you can make it, and you can um, position it wherever you want on your um, picture. I'm gonna change the color to a red, reddish type of color. Okay, and you can change the radius to um, however big you want or how small you want it to be. I'm going to do it like that. Okay, um, now I'm going to add another one, so I'm just going to click Layer, New Layer, Supernova 2. Okay, Filters, Light and Shadow. Supernova. Um, I'm going to position it a little bit higher up. Okay. And if you like it, uh, the way you've done it, you can go up here and click File, Save As. You can name it whatever you want, but after you're done naming it, you want to make sure that you type in .jpg, so this saves it as a JPEG file. And I'm going to, you can save it wherever you want to. Um, I'm going to save it in pictures and click save, select export, and select save again. And now if you want to go ahead and see it, uh, you can close GIMP real quick, and I'm going to open up pictures and it should be right here that's it um, I hope you thought this video was helpful if you like it please leave a comment or send me a message if you have any questions thanks guys